an idiot who's about to go to jail? Are you an idiot and you want to know how to survive Rikers Island? Watch this video. Really the hottest nigga, you gon' respect this lava I'm shooting it if I pull it, boy, make sure you want this drama I bring it to you like it's law and order SVU Turn you to a vegetable, now you look good inside a soup Family come from Bishopville, but I grew up in that Bronx Zoo Where they shoot you dead in the street and then dance all on top of you And I do what I gotta do Started Please don't get me started Started I'm gonna give y'all the top 10 things to do or not to do in order to survive Rikers Island. Before I do that, if you're watching me for the first time, why don't you go ahead, hit that bell, subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber slash supporter, welcome. Much love, peace and love. Without further ado, let's get to it. The top 10 things to do or not to do more importantly, not to do in order to survive Rikers Island. Let's get it. Oh yeah, by the way, none of these are in particular order except for number one. But we gonna go down the list, okay? Number one, do not join the gang. Avoid gang politics, period. If you wasn't in the gang before you got to Rikers Island or before you got to jail, don't join a gang when you get to jail. Half of them not even gonna respect you because you wasn't banging before you even got in there. Come on, like, if you're just joining a gang, especially in 2021, 2020, one, you're a lame, two, you're a bozo, three, you're a sucker. But anyways, let's say you go to jail because you couldn't avoid jail and now you in jail. More specifically, you in Rikers Island. I've seen the guys who go in and they become a gang or they switch their set. These are the guys that get the least respect. These are the guys who get sent on crash dummy missions. These are the guys who become do boys. Do you want to be a do boy? I think you don't boy. <laughs> Moving on. Number nine, do not steal from anyone. You steal from somebody while you free and now on the street, they can kick your ass or worse. If you steal from somebody in Rikers Island, it's going to be amplified to the highest degree. I mean, it's as simple as this. Um, why are you even being a thief? Unless you're going to be a straight up oppressor and tell a man to his face like, yo, listen, give me this. I'm taking this then it's like, you you already a sucker, you already not official, you already not tough, not gangster, um, not a real man. Like, like there's due to when a guy leaves his cell for a quick second, you know what I'm saying? Um, guys are going there, going in his bucket, trying to take his things. Couple guys have gotten caught and they've received very harsh consequences, you know what I'm saying? Um, dudes have been beat up, very minimum, behind that, but dudes have also been cut and stabbed behind that. So, if you happen to go to Rikers Island, even if you're starving, keep your hands to yourself. Swiper, no swiping. Moving on. Eight, do not gamble. Uh, me personally, I take pride in the fact of being a dude that's from the street who who don't even know how to shoot dice. Like, I don't even know. It's like, I tried to learn when I was younger. I started losing money. I lost all interest. Like, I personally, I was never a gambling guy. You know what I'm saying? So that's never been my issue. But I do understand the rush that comes with gambling, the adrenaline rush, um, the feeling of a high stakes risk. Um, but you can do as much research as you need to to understand that gambling is not a, 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 a game for winners to be playing because the winners are the person who are controlling the game who invented the rules and they're dictating how the game goes um i i i listened to an audio book called the um richest man in babylon and in one of those stories they talk about how about like a fifth of the time 
a fifth of the time in any gambling game or or higher, um, the controller of the game is always going to win. It's either that way or you only win 5% of the time, something like that. But when you gamble and you lose your gamble and you owe people a commissary or you supposed to have somebody send some money to their baby moms or something, it could get dangerous for you. It could really get dangerous for you. So my advice, if you end up in Rikers Island and you end up in jail, don't gamble, play smart. Moving on to the next one. Do not accept free offerings from anyone. Anyone. I don't care if it's your man's now. Now, unless you one of the one of the kings of Rikers Island, which did which there's not that many. Um, you'll go somewhere and it'll be plus you'd have to be like a top ranking gang member. Like if you're a top ranking gang member and then you've been in a jail before or they know about you and then you show up. Yeah, they'll make sure you good. They'll make sure you got clothes. They'll make sure you got stamps. They'll make sure you be able to call your family. They'll make sure you got food. But any situation other than that and you someplace where nobody know you, listen, if this sounds too good to be true or it looks too good to be true, it is. It is. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, If you go to, to the maximum prison and somebody gives you something free, you might have to pay back with your booty. You know what I'm saying you might have to pay back with your with your with your peanut butter. You know what I'm saying um, on Rikers Island. If if you accept a free offer from somebody, they're gonna want something back. You know what I'm saying like this person does not know you. Like like this person don't know you. Like like this could be a grimy ass Brooklyn nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to my Brooklyn niggas, but I'm just saying like y'all listen. Y'all know how y'all are. Y'all know how y'all are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, much of the Brooklyn, but y'all know her, who y'all are, and I don't care. I was there. Y'all was doing the most grimy and shit to people. I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't care. But moving on. If you are in a gang, ride forward with honor and not like a crash dummy. Now, I'm always say I'm not the gang politics guy. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't blood crit or nothing. I was, you know what I'm saying? My little street gang. My little street gang set from where I come from, you know what I'm saying? The, the streets of, you know what I'm saying? The Bronx, calling the Ave, Park Ave, Morris Ave area, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And when you go to Rikers Island, unless it's a lot of y'all and y'all really making noise, which didn't start happening until I was on my way up north, you know what I'm saying? So I basically was one of the very few people claiming a certain thing. And, and, and it basically didn't matter to anyone who's blood, crib, YG or ABG, you know what I'm saying? Like they didn't care, but I still had to ride. Like, like if somebody was like, "Hey, you're set to my," you know what I'm saying? To my, you know what I'm saying? My, my ick, you know what I'm saying? I plenty of times I had to go up in the nigga mouth for that. You feel me? Like ride for it, but don't be a crash dummy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's always gonna be people in your set who are gonna try to exploit you if they feel like you're a doja. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? You're too eager to impress them. You will get exploited and you will not have respect behind that. You know what I'm saying? You'll be going in the box. You'll be catching new charges. And the people who set you up to do what you do, they're going to go about their business. They're not going to think about you once you leave their area. You know what I'm saying? Girl, bounce that booty like bad check. Damn, I'm attracted to that booty like magnet. Going with the fuck, niggas never gain access. Heard the guy brain like an A plus mad test. Pussy mad, fresh, no smell. We go hotel, nigga mad. Oh well, cut him on toenail. She the prize, no bell. Kill a pussy, no bell. But heavy, no scale. Ride like hotel. Don't be a crash dummy. Period. But don't be a crash dummy is, you want to survive records out, you want to survive jail, don't be a crash dummy. Like I said previously. Don't be jumping out the window and don't be poking your your, your your nose in a situation that don't got nothing to do with you. Um, if you see a guy trying to trying to dictate your actions and tell you what to do, like you supposed to be his crash dummy, you nip that in the bud. Even if you gotta punch him in his mouth for him to understand that you are a man and you stand behind principles. Period. Moving on to the next one. We got three left, okay? Make an example of anyone who disrespects you. 
that should go without saying. That should be one of the first things you're thinking. You know what I'm saying? Um, the very first time, the very first time somebody says something outlandish to you that's disrespectful, go in his mouth. Beat him up. Attack him. You, you have no choice. You in jail. You in Rikers Island or any other county jail in the world. You don't have time to be trying to decipher. You ain't got time to try to be deciphering how you need to go about a situation based on who that person is. Like, unless you know for sure that the consequences of putting your hands on this person will be tremendous, the first person that disrespect you, and from that point on, you have to make an example out of them. You have to make an example out of them in front of people. So other people not gonna play with you. Now, number two, don't speak on things that have nothing to do with you. Mind your business, okay? We all know plenty of people who suffered a series of unfortunate events because they wasn't minding their damn business. Um, I avoided a whole lot of extra situations by just minding my business, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wasn't blood, I wasn't crip, I was none of the major gangs that were that were going on in Rikers Island in my era. I survived by just minding my business, standing on principles. It's as simple as that. You consider yourself to be a real man and you gonna defend your honor as a real man, then that's it. You don't really need nothing else. You don't really need a gang set. You know what I'm saying? You might not even need to be the best fighter around cause come on now, like we all know, bunch of street dudes, especially dudes that's known to be shooters, they can't fight. Most of them can't fight. Some of them can, but most of them can't fight. And the younger the generations go, the more of them cannot fight. That's why they shooting. Cause they, they scared to get a little nosebleed. You know what I'm saying? Like that, those I would consider to not be real men. You know what I'm saying? But the whole point is don't speak on things that got nothing to do with you. Especially if you are not a part of that organization who has things going on. And number one, the most important thing to do slash not do in order to survive Rikers Island. Stay out of jail. Don't go to jail. You avoid everything I said before this point if you do not go to jail. Avoid emotional responses to things. Most men in jail reacted emotionally to a situation, half the time it be about a chick, which they don't admit. Half the time it be about a chick, it don't be about no money. Next thing you know, you doing 25 years, you on Rikers Island for two years, then you doing another 23 and a max, you know what I'm saying? Giving your manhood to a man who ain't got nothing to lose. But that was my list, man. Top 10 things to do slash not do in order to survive right design. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If you like this video, feel free to give your boy a donation. Also, check out my brand new, updated music by Nato Mighty slash Times 2 and Rich Green playlist. I wanna thank everybody who's been watching my videos from day one. If you're a new subscriber, I appreciate you. Feel free to go in the comments and let me know you're a new subscriber. Fridays, I'm gonna figure out some type of way, again, to give shout outs to everyone who either sends donations or told me that they're brand new subscribers. I'm gonna figure out, I wasn't doing it because I started losing um, focus, but I'm getting right back to it every single Friday doing this because I need to show y'all love because y'all show me love. I wouldn't be nothing on YouTube without y'all. I got about a little over 3,100 subscribers. I appreciate every single one. Slowly but surely, I'm growing every single day. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hey, uh, make sure y'all subscribe to my Instagram, Nate underscore almighty underscore GDA. Subscribe to this channel and my new channel, The Nate and Rich Show.